My name is Kenya, I'm 17, and I'm a senior. My name is Sharice Lundy, I'm 25 years old, and I am a legal assistant. At yes, my name is Harriet, and I'm a senior citizen. My name is Zaire, and I am a 21-year-old college student. This will be my second time voting in the presidential election. I'm Eddie, I'm 22 years old, and I'm in the workforce. Oh, hi, my name is Daphne, I'm a college student at GPC. It's going to be my first time voting. I'm 54 voting. years old, I'm a convicted felon. Voting is important to me because some presidential candidates want to take away financial aid and loans, and I need those to proceed through college. Voting is important to me because who I vote for now affects who runs the country when my son is growing up. I'm speaking for the senior citizens and saying that we need our benefits, and voting will help get our benefits and help get our rights, secure our rights for senior citizens. Voting is important to me because as a young African-American woman, I gained some insight and education who was going to be running our country and who's going to be a part of our legal procedure and making the laws for us to better ourselves. What prevented me last time to vote at my designated location was I was two hours away and people that I knew that stayed five, ten minutes away didn't even care to vote. As they voted, it didn't mean nothing to them. Um, I feel like my voice is finally being heard. And, it, and being a convicted felon, it kept me from having a lot of opportunity in the voting world. And, and being a, not able to be in the voting world, it had hindered me from being in, being able to participate in a lot of, of voting and, and voicing my opinions and, and, and voters' registration. And, and, and it's really it's been a handicap, but now I see what, what really true voting means, being able to voice and being a part of society. Society is a real good opportunity for young people and old. So please, keep your nose clean and come out and vote. Now Sarah say she might as well stay home. She'll never have the same voice as Tyrone. And Tyrone say the only booth he ever make a change in is the one with the microphone. Cause at the end of the day, Jack gonna always have his way. Still make up all the rules. Still get the final say. Still complain about that little extra cash he gotta pay for the people at the bottom like they wanted it this way. Uh. And Granny say that she ain't even gonna bother. Cause the change never came. It's the same as when she was brought up the rich getting richer the poor getting poorer and the crooked politicians make their efforts seem purer but what would have happened if people ain't take action when well, slavery was happening from saint louis to jackson imagine a water fountain still separated and women can't vote and our schools segregated pregnant teens be killing themselves while performing they own abortion a very large portion see now voting's like walking blindfolded with someone else controlling how you walking, where you going, uh, Michigan got rid of affirmative action, and they hate it with a passion, but what you think happens, when no one hits the polls, to let it be exposed, that we do got opinions, ideas, and goals, uh, I used to think a black man would never be president, cause our voice don't matter, it's not relevant, now I'm thinking more than ever that it's evident, we could change the world with our voice and stop settling, Look what we overcame, look what we'll overcome. We got a responsibility to the younger ones. So if in November you don't get up and make a change, you officially forfeited your rights to complain. It's time to close your mouth, open your eyes, listen. Your vote could be the vote, and you could be the difference. It's time to close your mouth, open your eyes, listen. Your vote could be the vote, and you could be the difference. In 1891, vote made Idaho a state. In the 2008 presidential election, 36% of youths without college experience went out and voted, as opposed to 62% of youths with college experience who went out and voted. Okay. 18 to 24 year olds had the highest turnout rate for African Americans in the 2008 election. Maine and Vermont are the only two states in the United States where felons in prison are allowed to vote. It's Georgia State law for employers to give employees at least two hours on election day to vote.